Good evening everyone. Daryl Poole here of Smooth Power LLC down in Houston. I'm here tonight to show you how to properly set up these uh, spark plug wires for the ElectroAir electronic ignition system. Uh, the system is easy to install. One of the complaints that we do get is setting up these spark plug wires and installing the hardware. It is a little bit difficult, but I've come up with a pretty easy way to get this task accomplished. This is a wire that I've kind of pre-done to demonstrate to you. What we're going to do is we're going to strip this wire down to its center core. You can see the center core here uh, sticking out of the, the silicone insulation. This is actually a real fine wire wrapped around a central Kevlar fiber core. And you'll feel the ridges on this wire and that's, that's important and one of the things we want to talk about a little bit later is when you install the spring, the spring is going to be installed just outboard of center. You don't want it dead center, you want it outboard of this black core. And when the spring is properly installed, when you're installing it, you'll feel it hitting each one of those coils as it's going down. It'll be a little bump, bump, bump as you're going all the way down to the bottom. And we'll demonstrate that at the end of, the, end of this presentation. But it's very important that you feel that all the way to the bottom. If you don't, it means this spring tang is actually turned and now is wanting to come outside of the insulation. That's not good. That's going to cause arcing and that's going to create a problem. We don't want to, we don't want to have that. So to get this process started, we'll get this one out of the way. We'll go with a fresh piece of wire. You're going to use a sharp knife. Zacto knife, whatever, whatever you have handy, but you want something sharp, a razor blade will work. This happens to be a Swiss Army knife that I carry with me. But you're going to slowly but surely work your way around this wire. You don't want to be real aggressive with this, that's why you want something sharp. And once it lets go, you're going to know it, and it's just going to pull right off of there. And there we have our central wire. And the reason for this, this gives us something to grab a hold of when we're trying to get this thing pulled through this ferrule. And it's a tight fit through the ferrule. There's no doubt about it, but it needs to be tight. The other little added trick that I do, and you can use your knife to do this as well. I use a pair of dikes. Take and cut a little notch off of that. What that's going to do, that's going to help us get this started in the ferrule. Now from here, this needs to be lubricated with some DC4. I don't have any handy. I'm going to use a little good old petroleum jelly. I'm going to lubricate that up a little bit there. Grab my uh, trusty napkin over here, clean my hands a little bit. So I can handle the tools. First thing you're going to do is you're going to slide the nut. It goes on first. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the ferrule itself. And you can see the orientation with the wrench flats going towards the wire. You're going to insert this, get it started. And with that little notch it helps to, there it goes. It's sliding on. And now we have this core, and you want to grab onto it, you want to grab onto it pretty tight. Let me use my safety wire pliers. Once we get a hold of that, we're simply going to grab the ferrule and pull this thing on. It's hurting my fingers. And it'll pull on there. It takes a little effort, but it will definitely slide over the wire. Now at this point, not that difficult to move it either way. We need to go to get this measurement correct here to make sure that we've got the proper pressure on the spring once this is installed in the spark plug. This little ex excess here, we need to trim that off. Now we're back down to the base wire. Let's 
it's time to install our spring. And I have to turn this so I can see it and get it just outboard of that central core. Sometimes you got to work it. There it goes. And I can feel it going right down those windings. That's perfect. All the way to the bottom. Perfect. There it is. Properly installed spring to where it needs to be. Got your nut. Got your rubber washer. You know, make sure this washer gets seated all the way inside that nut. And once it is, when you go to torque this onto your spark plug, I recommend you torque it at least once. Back it off, torque it again, just to make sure that that rubber washer is properly seated. The rubber washer serves a couple of purposes. One of the main purposes is when it is torqued, it's going to help squeeze on this wire to prevent it from pulling out of the ferrule. Once this is set up properly, it is a very uh, efficient way to hook up these spark plugs. It works great. And as you've seen, this didn't take me but uh, just a couple of minutes to make the installation. And we're all good to go. Happy flying.